Hey gang, uh, today is going to be a really short one. Um, still on vacation, hopefully enjoying it. <laughs> I pre-recorded this one. We're just going to do this in the style of a stream. I'm going to show you, I'm going to just kind of show you a practice technique that I sometimes use. Uh, I'll just call it noodling, right? And what I'm doing here is I'm playing very simple chords and just letting myself kind of immerse and find the right cadence and the right, um, or I won't say the right, but the cadence and the, or the rhythms and the notes that I really like on each of the chords. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is just two chords, C and, I'm sorry, F and C in that order. And we'll just kind of soak it in a little bit, just listen to it. Yeah. Okay, nice and slow, right? So you can see what was going on there. And I'm just trying out different notes and techniques. Um, and this one happens to be, there's two chords. So what are the two things I could try? I could try C, C major. I could play F major. Turns out that C major is the right one. But you're going to figure that one out because you'll hit some wrong notes if you're playing F major. I was mostly playing C major pentatonic there. Um, but also, um, I played some of the modal notes, I suppose, some of the... Played that little run, which is just a C major run. And uh, found some... Um, I was trying some of the... the uh, I don't even know what to call them, maybe Hendrixy. <laughs> Hendrixy type stuff, um, where I was playing, you know, chords. That kind of stuff. Um, and trying to find the notes that would sound really good to sustain on. Like this is a great one, obviously. That's a good one. This one's a surprise. That's a C. This is a surprisingly good one. I guess it shouldn't be because on a C it's part of a chord tone. And, uh, and so forth. Um, so that's one of the things that's going on. Um, just a couple of different rules, I guess. You know, I'm, you saw me going, kind of going between positions there. What I'm doing is I'm using primarily triads to, to guide myself when I'm doing, and my ear, uh, but triads to kind of guide myself to what to try and try to focus on playing chord tones at, at least at first. 
and then maybe filling in the notes with whatever scale I think makes sense. In this case, C major or C major pentatonic uh, sounded great. So I think it sounded pretty good, um, those notes anyway. And uh, let's see what else. There's not a lot else. I mean, I'm really just kind of noodling around. And I think, you know, the more that you noodle around, oh, I know, there was one other thing I wanted to say, and that's common tones. In this one, and I'll just play it this one, a, the C is a, is a common tone between, there's a couple of others, but the C is a common tone between these, these two chords. And so you can always play it and it sounds good. Listen. that you can pivot around there and it's always going to sound good. You can play bluesy licks or whatever, but anytime you play that C, no matter what the chord is, it's going to sound good because it's a common tone to both of those chords. So that was the other thing I wanted to say. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just a question of letting it soak in, getting your ear used to it, getting the sounds that make sense to you, trying the different techniques like um, the, the finger, um, not finger picking, but kind of have this technique where I, where I pull up on the string, I pinch the string when I play that. And, uh, and so forth. Oh, and I was playing some fourths there too. Oops. Those sound great in this. So, um, yeah, anyway, just have fun. I recommend doing this. If you, it doesn't matter if it's the blues or whatever, just put on a, put on a chord or a couple of chords or two, put them on your looper or put on a backing track, put it nice and slow, and just let your ear kind of soak it in and uh, immerse yourself. <laughs> All right. Till next time, we'll see you on down the road.